education. Hi, my name is Anthony Cora. I go to Steel Canyon High School and I'm the class of 2019. Initially, I just wanted to make a change in the community, mainly the youth community. Um, I realized that uh, generations change, so how the generation is growing up now is a little different than how it was when I was growing up, just like it was different with my parents and how I grew up. So uh, for me, I wanted to make a positive change in the community, starting with the youth, um, and more particular in sports. Um, I have a basketball background. Basketball changed my life. It opened up opportunities that um, I've never had opened up in any other avenues or industries before. So uh, for me, I wanted to offer those opportunities and give the youth an opportunity to have as many endless opportunities as I have. So that's why I got into it initially. Gain advantage right off the bat. We take the baby steps and recover. Why is it important for youth to have someone like you? Um, I would say, well for me, I didn't really have, I had mentors, but my mentors were a lot older than me. It wasn't nobody that was about within a 10 year range to where I could feel like I could relate to them. Uh, nobody that was in an age range to where I felt like they could really let me know what to look forward to within the next two to three years. Um, in addition, um, the guidance off the court, out the sport, is really what I was missing too. Um, I found out a lot of things the hard way that I wish I didn't have to find out. Um, so for me, a major part of me getting into it was to help prevent kids from going through what I went through. Um, think about it, it's kind of like having somebody who just recently, you know, who recently just went down a path, made a path. Um, a path that started with open dirt, open land, and nobody really knew which way to go. Going left, going right, going this way. But somebody who created a path to a destination and then is now going back down that path and is trying to lead more people down that path, making sure that on the way each person is taking that avenue that they need to take. Um, it's kind of like having somebody really give you a blueprint. Um, I tell my guys all the time, I'm giving you the blueprint. You know, you just pretty much gotta follow. Um, I'd say it's, it's kind of giving these kids a head start. Um, you asked why is it important? It's always important to know what's next, I would say. Um, when you don't know what's next, sometimes it's beautiful, sometimes it's scary. Um, at those moments where it's scary, when it's big time decisions that need to be made, um, it does help to have somebody who just recently, or you know, who has at some point had to make that same type of decision and can give feedback on what consequences to face. So, there's so many reasons why it's good, I would say. There's so many pros and cons. So I'm setting up the next drill while he's getting water. Killing two birds with one stone. I like to get I like to maximize the entire time that I have with the client. So if I got you for an hour, I figured out of that hour, three of those minutes you we'll probably spend getting water. The rest you in some type of work, active ball handling, skill set building, defense. Uh, this next one we're going to go into stationary moves into creating your own space. So, take the broke our defender down off the dribble. We caught him in fast break. We didn't also work to get open. An hour and a half for set. Time's ticking. We got one man to beat. You see everybody's click, uh, clinched in for help, but at the same time, you don't want to just settle for this shot. One dribble. Boom. Boom. Shot. One dribble. Boom. Boom. Push. Shot. This way, right? Boom. Boom. Nope. One forward. We're here. One, two. Boom. Boom. Boom.
What skills can you teach your youth to help them excel to the next level? Um, skills. Let's talk. Uh, well, in basketball or in sports, period. I mean, you got skills on the court, on the field, and off the field, off the court. Um, skills overall, in general. I mean, leadership, discipline, um, structure, um, awareness, IQ building, knowing your surroundings making decisions in high pressure situations. Um, those are just a few of the many things that, you know, I can help teach kids at an early age. I mean, most people don't have to make high pressure decisions until their mid twenties or early thirties. Um, at, at the age of seven and eight, kids are starting to learn how to make high pressure decisions with, you know, a lot on the line. That's not common at a young age. So those are skill sets um, that we learn to instill and help kids enhance at an early age. Uh, some of those things are intangible, some of those things are instinctive, um, but overall, I mean, there's at least, I'd say 15 to 20 different type of skills that kids can learn or grasp and incorporate into their everyday life just from playing a sport, i.e. basketball, football, or something. It all depends on the coach. Where y'all play at? And now we're done at seven. Uh, I want to count the decision. All right, so you make a good pass, take your man wide so another man can create on defense, lock up, and become a leader, all right? It's good that people are already speaking your name, but now you want people outside of the community to speak your name. The only way you can do that is to dominate on a consistent basis. Alright? So you dropped 22 last day, I need a 20 point this game. But I want 20 points at least, um, 5 steals at least, and at least 7 and 8 assists. Let's work. Speak on teamwork and how teamwork plays a big part in your role as a coach and as a client or as a friend? Um, teamwork is in everyday life. Uh, whether you're a lonely individual, or whether you're the biggest team player, period, teamwork is imperative in life. At some point in time, somebody needs help and who other to call than a teammate, a family member, or whatever. A teammate can be not necessarily somebody on the sports team. You know, it can be a family member. Uh, but overall, you know, team play is in everyday life. In sports, it's just overly emphasized. Um, and at times, some people have trouble with it because it's human nature to be more focused on yourself than the next man or the next woman. So, you know, for us, emphasizing team play is part of the ground level infrastructure that we build around. Um, you know, it goes back to the saying, there's no high in team. So, I mean, there's really, there's, there's no such thing as sports without team play, honestly. Even in golf, you got a coach. You got to listen to your coach, you got to be a good team player. Um, you know, like I said, it's just an everyday life. So, sports is over emphasized. I'll leave off with this. For me, a mentor, coach isn't just a coach. It's a life mentor. Um, I've spent so many years wasted on bad coaching or bad mentors or people who just weren't guiding me in the right direction. So once I found things out my own way, I figured out I, I only want to help kids. And I only want to help people, let's just say that, because I don't only train kids. I only want to help people who want to be helped. People who understand the importance of guidance and mentorship. Um, Regardless of whatever I'm doing in my passion, whether it's training, coaching, photography, videography, I'm always looking to open up different avenues for young individuals. And I'm always looking to be a role model and show kids that, hey, you don't just have to do one thing in life. Um, for me, growing up, I felt basketball was my only ticket. Once I had kids and life changed for me, I found out at a later age how to readapt, how to reinvent myself. Um, you know, how to find myself and find my way. 
Uh, by the time I was three years into being a parent and finding my way, I felt like I, I, I knew who I was. And the moment I found out, the moment I discovered that I knew who I was, was the moment I wanted to go help others find themselves.